The Coordinates or International Human Rights Commission mission to West African countries says the decision of the Nigerian government to issue a stern warning to Ghanaian authorities over a sustained campaign of hostility against Nigerians living in Ghana is a little too far. Both countries have been at diplomatic loggerheads after Nigerian businesses in Ghana were recently shut down over a requirement for each trader to have a minimum of $1 million foreign equity. Coordinator Friday Sani, who is the country head of the organization in Nigeria, believes the approach by Nigeria smacks off a diplomatic protocol breach, more so as Ghana has insisted that the requirement applies to all foreign-owned businesses in Ghana. I will say it in clear terms, without missing word, that reading a riot act to Ghanaian government is not a way out at all. In fact, it's not a solution. The, those in government has always described Mr. President as a man who does not react quickly to issues. If that claim is very correct, if there is any area that the, the president shouldn't react in that order, it is in the diplomatic area. In the diplomatic area, reading of riot act is a declaration of war. which I do not think that as an organization, as a representative of an organization that promotes global peace, we will not be in support of it. Rather, we'll be calling on Mr. President to still be as patient as he has been on the diplomatic relationship between Nigeria and Ghana. This is because it is difficult now to create a division between Nigeria and Ghana. As a matter of fact, so many parts of Ghana community is owned by Nigeria. Nigerians, Ghanaians don't own what we own Ghanaian. As a matter of fact, the investment Nigerians have in Ghana Ghanaians don't have it in Nigeria. I have said it before that Nigerians own communities in Ghana. That explains to you the level of relationship between Ghana and Nigeria over time. I am of the belief that the actions taken so far by the Minister of Foreign Affairs in terms of diplomatic actions is good enough to resolve the current impasse. Again, government has to decentralize a way out of solving this diplomatic relationship.